Hey everybody, <laughs> I just got back to the nut farm. That was friendly in my shot. Um, and I'm enjoying this beautiful extra hour of daylight on a 75 degree early spring day. Um, and just about to do chores, but I was pondering uh, kind of the fragility of life and our fragile, precarious way of life as Americans in the Western world. Um, many of us take for granted, I think, the infrastructure um, and that it'll stay constant. And I've been discussing this for years with people who've been with me overseas uh, to third world countries, people closest with me, with about the firm expectation that we're likely headed into a season if not for years uh, of trial and systemic breakdown. And when people and countries and institutions are squeezed, great things can happen, but also it tends to bring out some of the worst in our nature. And Mother Nature has a way of humbling all of us and reminding us, um, reminding me, how inevitable the cycle of loss and rebirth and loss and rebirth is to the very fabric of our existence. It's We learn it every day out here at the farm. So I just wanted to share that with you. Whatever you're going through, I encourage you not to feel alone, uh, not to feel fearful in that fact. I'm convinced that some of us will not make it through this season of biological testing. It's a test. It's because It's not because some of us are righteous or deserving or somehow lacking faith or certain disciplines. No, none of that. This is a test of our humanity in its natural state. It's the natural order of things. And we can do what we can do to be prepared, but it's like a tsunami tidal wave that's inevitable. It's a force of nature and it's gonna take its toll. And to me, the peace that passes all understanding to me, it's a trust and in faith in God who loves us equally without regard for our status or our ability to ward off infection or live without fear. A little bit of natural concern is a good idea at this point, I think. So I don't know, I just wanted to share my thoughts about the fragility of our way of life and remind you to stay close Stay close to nature and the natural order of things. Maybe at the end of all of this, that's what we'll come away with. It's easy for me around our beautiful nature and our precious animals. But we wanna welcome you too. So don't hesitate to reach out if you need advice on how to get closer to the natural order of things. How to capture stories and interesting um, memories with your loved ones. I have a particular interest in profiling uh, people and causes that you care about through video and I'd love to share that with you and help you capture the stories of your loved ones. Whether or not they're in jeopardy of um, being impacted by this coronavirus or not, we're living through a remarkable period and however terrible and seemingly unjust. Those who make it through to the promised land will have a beautiful burden to honor the legacies of those we lose and somehow build a better world with those who've remained behind. I'll keep checking in with you, but this is my virus health update for today. The cat is wanting some love. <laughs> Stay in touch. Stay healthy. Peace.